Hi, I'm AJ and thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you're really going to like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Before you go out and spend any money, make sure you watch this video in its entirety. Sooner or later, no matter how much we budget, how much we try to cut expenses, we're going to have to spend money on something. We have to pay for different bills. We have to eat. We have to buy clothes and shoes. We're going to spend money eventually. Well, why not get rewarded or essentially paid to spend money? In this video, I'll talk about my top seven cashback apps and the bonuses that you receive just for signing up and either adding your card or making one initial purchase. As you start to make your plans and budget for 2020, you want to make sure these apps are part of your spending plan. These apps provide either cashback or Bitcoin or gift cards in return for the purchases that you make at specific stores. And you may even receive stock back. Yes, I said stock back. You can actually receive cash back that goes towards purchasing stock and it's automatically done. There's nothing you have to do on your part other than sign up for these accounts and connect your credit card to their application. And a great thing about these cash back apps is that they work in addition to any cash back that you receive on your credit card. So if you have a credit card that has a rewards program that provides either cash back or points towards flights and hotels or gift cards, whatever the case may be, you get the rewards from these cash back apps in addition to anything that your credit card company would provide for you. So I think I've hyped up these apps enough. Let's actually get into what the top seven cash back apps are. Starting with number seven is the Drop app. With the Drop Rewards app, you actually have two ways that you can earn cash back. The first way and the way that I like the most is you can select two companies out of a list of about 10 where you can actually receive cash back every time you shop with them. So two of the companies that I chose within the app that worked for me were Chipotle and Starbucks. These are two places that I actually go to, not a lot because I try not to eat out a lot and I try not to spend $5 on coffee. But when I'm on a long drive and I don't have the opportunity to use a Keurig or make my own coffee or make my own hot chocolate or make my own food, then when I'm on the road, Starbucks is a place that I like to go and Chipotle is a place that I like to go. Now you only have the option to choose two places where you automatically receive cash back. So no matter which Chipotle or which Starbucks you go to, when I swipe my credit card, I get cash back at these stores. And this is what Drop calls their power offers. The second option that they have is to choose certain retailers within their app. So you can go in their app and you can search which stores they have available. So for instance, we'll use Nike as an example. If you were to shop at Nike, but you start from the drop app before you go to Nike's website, then you'll get the cash back or the points that are mentioned within their app per dollar amount that you spend at Nike. And essentially $1 is a thousand points. So for every one cent you spend, you get 10 points. And when you sign up using my referral link, you'll automatically receive 5,000 points once you connect the credit card to the app. And that's worth $5. These points can be redeemed for gift cards within the app and you need at least $25 or 25,000 points in order to redeem for a gift card. And you can redeem gift cards from any amount from $25 up to $100. The more points you have, the more options that you have as far as the different gift cards that you can choose from. Number six is the Get Upside app. Now with the Get Upside app, this is specifically for buying gas. So once you sign up for the app, it will locate different gas stations around you that offer cash back through the Get Upside app. So it's not every gas station that you're gonna go to, but there are certain gas stations that you'll be able to see within the app and they'll advertise what the price of their gas is as well as how much cash back they're willing to give you per gallon. Now the per gallon cash back, can range anywhere from just one cent per gallon and I've seen as high as 20 cents per gallon. It really depends on your area and it changes with each gas station. So the specific gas station that I go to in my area, I've seen it as low as one cent and I've seen it as high as 11 cents. But in other cities that I've visited, I've seen higher cash back and I've seen more options within those areas. So it does seem if you live in a, a larger metropolitan area, of course there's going to be more gas stations, there's more competition, so there's going to be a chance for higher cash back 
and more gas stations to choose from. Now, when you first sign up for GetUpside, you're gonna get 15 cents per gallon as a bonus on top of any cash back that is already provided by that gas station. So let's say if there's a gas station that provides nine cents cash back already, you're gonna get an additional 15 cents on your first purchase. That will give you 24 cents per gallon of cash back. So you can see that because you have to buy gas probably every week, most people, this can really add up. Just starting with the bonus, if you buy 10 gallons worth of gas, that's $1.50 cash back just in one week. And of course, if you invite friends, you'll get a bonus as well of that 15 cents per gallon. So of course you wanna invite as many friends as you know that need to buy gas, which is probably 90% of your friend. Now the only downside to this app compared to some of the other apps that I'm gonna talk about in the top seven, is that you have to upload the receipt. So when you're at the gas station, before you make the purchase, you have to select to claim the offer within the Get Upside app. After you claim the offer, you pump your gas, you get your receipt, you take a picture of the receipt, and you upload it in the Get Upside app. So it's not as automatic as I would like things to be, but it is a great way to get cash back on the purchases that you're gonna make anyway if you drive a car. Number five is the Dosh app. With the Dosh app, very similar to Drop, you're gonna add a credit card to their application, and whenever you shop at specific stores, you will get cash back. Now with Dosh, you do have more than just two options as far as the automated cash back. Now you don't get to select them, but you can actually look within the Dosh app, and you can see the different restaurants or retailers in your area that will give you cash back. But you can also shop through the app to make purchases at different retailers to get your cash back as well. Now within Dosh, you can also book hotels as well and receive cash back that way. And so the reason this is a slightly better than the Drop app is because you have a lot more stores to choose from as far as places where you can shop and get that automated cash back. But the downside as a person who likes to automate things is that you don't get automatic cash back at all of the retailers that are available to get cash back within the Dosh app. Now with this app, you'll get a $1 bonus just for signing up and linking one of your credit cards to their application. Number four is the Ebates app, now known as Rakuten. Rakuten bought Ebates, so you'll slowly see that the Rakuten name will be more pronounced than Ebates. But with this application, very similar to Dosh and Drop, you have options within their app to get automatic cash back or to get cash back whenever you make purchases within their app. So there are certain in-store deals and certain restaurants where when you shop at those restaurants, you will get cash back when you have your credit card linked to the Ebates Rakuten account. But within the actual application, this app actually has the largest selection out of all of the cash back apps within this top seven that you can actually get money back for. Rakuten also has a Chrome extension, so you can actually use that on your laptop or on your desktop. And whenever you go to a website, Rakuten can send you a notification within Chrome specifically. That way you'll know that the website you're on is a website where you can earn cash back through the Rakuten app. So this is a really cool feature that it has and it makes it a little bit better than the Dash app and the Drop app in comparison. And with the Rakuten app, once you've spent at least $25 through one of their deals or one of the retailers where you receive cash back through their app, you will receive a $10 bonus. Number three is the Pay app, also known as Get Pay. Now the Pay app is actually one of the newer apps out of the cash back apps on this list, but it has a lot of deals with different restaurants all over the place. Now, when I first signed up for pay, it didn't have that many options, and I've only been signed up since November of 2019. Now, just since November, there have been a lot of restaurants and retailers added to this application, which has been very surprising. Sometimes I'll go, because I already have my credit card connected to it, and I'll shop somewhere and not even think about it, and then I'll get a notification on my phone that I just received cash back from the pay app. So that's something that's really cool about the Get Pay app, is that the majority of the stores that you can get cash back within their app, it's automatic. You don't have to think about it. And if you use either Uber or Lyft, you automatically get cash back whenever you use their services as well. So if you use Uber or Lyft a lot, this could be a nice incentive for you to use the Get Pay app specifically. Now, the number two app is called the Bumped app. And the reason that this is number two is because it's not actually a cash back app, it's actually a stock back app. Yes, a stock back app. So instead of receiving cash back, dollars, coins, cents, 
you will actually receive shares within the company of the company that you're spending your money with. So for example, if you were to go to Starbucks and you spend $10 at Starbucks, based on whatever the current cash back is for that account through the Bumped app, you will receive that cash back in the app and then that cash will be used to purchase fractional shares of Starbucks, the company. Now within their app, you have about 10 different categories to choose from and within each category you can choose one store and so this can be very lucrative if one of the stores in each category are places that you shop at and that you're going to shop at no matter what you will get cash back in the form of stock so you're getting basically free stock just for making purchases that you're going to make anyway right now there is no bonus to sign up for the bumped app and there's actually a wait list so make sure you click on the link in the description so you can join that wait list now the number one app is also a stock back app and that app is called bits of stock now with the bits of stock app the reason it is number one is because you can choose any company that's available within their app and they have about a hundred different companies that you can choose from and you can choose 15 of those companies no matter the category so any company that you shop with all the time for instance i'll use starbucks again if you shop at starbucks but you also like to go to dunkin donuts you can choose both you don't have to choose just one because it's in the coffee category for instance the one that has worked the best for me is costco i spend a lot of money at costco i go every month if not every week every purchase that i make at costco i earn a reward which is actually costco stock that i receive that i can hold on to for as long as i choose so the reason that the top two are stock back apps and not actually cash back apps is because although you are receiving cash back that cash automatically turns into stock that can actually increase in value over time of course if you receive cash you didn't have to choose what you're going to do with that cash whether it's you know buy more food or if you're going to pay off that or if you're going to invest with the top two stocks in this cash back video you're automatically receiving ownership in a business businesses that you spend your money with all the time and if you and thousands or millions of other people are also spending money with those companies more than likely that stock value is going to continue to grow over time so those are my top seven cash back and stock back apps i have links in the description if you would like to sign up for one of these apps or all of these apps and I would really recommend you sign up for all seven because you can actually stack rewards on top of rewards. So as an example, I've used Starbucks twice already because I can actually receive Starbucks cash back in more than one way. So both the Bump app, the Bits of Stock app, the Drop app, in addition to my cash back credit card, I receive rewards back whenever I shop at Starbucks and I get it four times. And so I'll go into a video in the future to talk about different ways that you can stack these different stock back and cash back apps, which can be really rewarding and possibly get you anywhere between 2% up to as high as 16% total value in the cash back that you're receiving when there's a company that's available within all of these applications. And all you have to do is link your credit card with all of these applications and you can start earning cash back today. Now there are links are in the description if you would like to sign up for any of these applications the ones that have wait lists sorry you have to be on the wait list but five of the seven apps i mentioned in this video actually give you a bonus just for signing up or after you make your first purchase so make sure you get signed up for all seven of these apps today all right thanks for watching this video i really appreciate you taking this time out of your day if you're not already a part of the mobile money nation make sure you hit the subscribe button down below hit the like button because you really like this video and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time i upload a video again thanks for watching you guys have a great day